What's up guys and welcome back to the channel and today I will be showing you guys how to get one of the u most unique weapons in Skyrim one of the best unique weapons in Skyrim I should say not most my bad so where this is weapon is located is at the ramshackle trading post but there happens to be a little bit of a bug <laughs> when trading with this trader so basically the bug is this guy only sells between midnight and 6 a.m. So and what I would do is I'd he head over to Raven Rock and just wait until 12 p.m. As you guys can see it's 12:30 and what you guys want to do next is you just got you just want to go and fast travel to this trading post now this trader should show up for you guys if he doesn't then I'd suggest heading back to Raven Rock exiting out of your game and then going back into the game and doing the same thing over again now this guy is a great trader right and what might you need but he is pretty annoying and the reason mm -hmm. for this trader being annoying is because he has the unique weapon equipped and he Azura's doesn't want to sell it take a look. weapons steel arrow iron arrow ebony bow mm, pretty good dwarven arrow but no glass no glass bow of the stag prince so if you guys don't really so if you guys don't have the pickpocketing perks it might be a little bit harder for you guys to get so what I suggest if you guys do have this pickpocketing perk which is called misdirection so you can pickpocket equipped items as you can see here we can pickpocket his equipped item so just save the game and take his bow and now we have the glass bow of the stag prince but don't worry guys there's also another way to get this so let me go ahead and show you the other way to get this bow so guys the second way is you're gonna wanna go to your shouts and equip where is it the bend will shout so these people so I'll just show you guys what it does and as you guys can see in my hand I have a knife and yes it is legit a knife if you guys haven't seen my other video I'll leave a link down in the description on how I got that so guys for the next way of getting the bow you're just gonna wanna place a dagger in there and the lighter the dagger the easier it will be to put it into his inventory mm -hmm. so what you guys are gonna wanna do Make sure you have your guys' bend will shout equipped. You're gonna wanna pull out a weapon to hit him with. Alright, guys. Mm. And since he's gonna be you're gonna be really close to him, he's gonna pull out his dagger instead of his bow, which makes a lot of sense. Yes, sir. So here you're just gonna just hit him. Once more and I'm going to have to And kill you're gonna wanna use your bend will shout and sheath your weapon. After that he will unequip his bow. Mm. And you can go Take to his weapons. And what do we have here? The glass bow of the stag prince. And it's usually only a thousand or maybe lower if you have your speech skill up really high, which is 621 for me. So I'm just going to buy that off him. And there you have it. Actually, hey, hold on, hold on a darn minute. What about my dragon bone dagger, my boy? Give me that. What the hell you think? Yes, sir. I mean, I know I stole your glass bow of the stag prince, but oh. you know what? That doesn't mean you get to keep my dagger, boy. So, what this bow says is a re the wielder receives an increasingly powerful blessing for every 20 animals killed by the bow. So, when you originally get this bow, just go to your active effects. And as you can see, you have the blessing of the stag. Since we haven't killed any animals yet, we have a very weak blessing. 
But what this blessing does is it re we receive an additional 5 health and stamina while the bow of the Stag Prince is equipped. And this is unique because this is the only weapon in the game that gives you both health and stamina boosts. So you guys just want to go, gonna want to just head over here in this direction near White Run. And just look for some animals and kill them. Look, we have one right there. So guys, just to let you know, an animal in Skyrim counts as anything that you would count as an animal in Skyrim. So a mud crab, a mud crab does count as an animal in Skyrim. Basically, you can get a max of 25 health and 25 stamina, which is uh, insane because you're just like adding on to your health, which is just a great enchantment. You guys can also even add this enchantment onto your armor, which just gives you an insane amount of health and stamina, which is just freaking insane. So after you've leveled up your bow, you're basically a freaking badass. And you know, that, that traitor, he had this thing at level zero. You're cooler than him already. You're what kind of man leaves this type of bow at level zero? That that man, he's, he's crazy. As you can see, I killed a saber cat right here. Stupid saber cat. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, be sure to drop a like. Lydia, you just freaking pushed me off a cliff. What if this was a cliff, huh? You could have freaking killed me. Still here. How can I serve you, my friend? Anyways, if you're wondering what weapon Lydia was using, it's a champion's cudgel. And this weapon has an amazing enchantment. If you guys want to know what that enchantment is, go ahead and go look in the description below and click in the link. It will take you right to the video and you guys can go ahead and check that out for yourself that's also how I got this amazing weapon right here you know this Please knife I will destroy I can destroy anybody with this knife honestly who would you not be able to destroy with this knife look at that anyways guys I hope you enjoyed this video if you did be sure to drop a like if you guys are new to the channel be sure to subscribe and if you guys want to see more Skyrim videos be sure to hit that notification bell right next to the subscribe button Leave a comment on what you want me to upload next about Skyrim. I'll see you guys next time and peace out.